guys, I'm back to my channel. I'm Siddharth, and you're watching Sid Book Reviewer. So, guys, if you know, if you remember, uh, in January I went to Delhi Book Fair, but I didn't share the books that I bought. So today I'm going to do a book haul video, and I'm going to share the books that I bought at that time. There are four books in total that I bought. So let's get started. The first book is none other than Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Now I'm sure you must have seen me talking about this book a lot on in my previous videos, and I am very really intrigued by this book. And I was looking forward to read it. And this book has been on my TBR pile since a very long time. So the moment I saw this book, I was like, I have to buy it. And I bought this book for around hundred rupees. And uh, currently, I am into like the mood of reading self help books. So I'm soon going to start reading this book. And I'll definitely make sure that I share my views about it. The next book I bought is the Great Indian Novel by Shashi Tharoor. Now I have my own appre uh, apprehensions before buying this book because I have read uh, Book List in Baghdad by Shashi Tharoor and I found that book a uh, pretty heavy in terms of the language that was being used. Uh, Shashi Tharoor is known for his intellectual skills and um, the kind of vocabulary he has. I don't believe anyone uh, in India uh, will be able to match up to that. Uh, so. Uh, Plus, it's a pretty thick book, so I think I'm going to take a while to start reading that book because of its thickness, along with uh, the language uh, which is uh, being used in the book. And the only reason why I bought this book was because it's a fictional, uh, like storytelling of Mahabharata, which is the epic of Hindu mythology. So I was intrigued to see that how author has come up with such an idea and what is the plot all about. So soon I'll read it. I'll try to read it into. 2018, if possible, and share my views with you guys. Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. Now, if you are following me for a very long time, then you know that I am a huge Nicholas Sparks fan. I just love the kind of romance, the kind of love, the kind of caring nature, people, uh, all the characters that he creates uh, in his books. Uh, and the reason why I bought this book was because of its theme. Now, the book uh, basically is a story of a woman whose husband dies, and before dying, he actually uh, gave two things uh, to her. That was a small cute puppy and a promise that he will always watch over her so it seems to be kind of an emotional book where the characters uh, might be uh, feeling uh, like care for each other it's the kind of i think a romance uh, that will be portrayed in the book i am not sure what exactly is there and i am and i am least bothered about it and i'm not even going to read the summary of this book the, the synopsis that is written at the back of the book because i want to straight away get in the next book i bought is breed up by Paulo Coelho. Now the sole reason for buying this book was of Manpreet who runs a YouTube channel with the name The Indian Booktuber and I actually take a lot of uh, book recommendations from her channel and the moment I saw this book I like there was a flash in my in my like mind. Uh, I saw the like the name of the channel and I saw Manpreet saying this is a very good book everybody should read it and then I was like I have to buy this book and see what's there in it. And you know the first line of the synopsis says that uh, the book is about an Irish woman who is on a quest to find the mysteries of life and I think that is all like we all are that is what we all are doing we all are trying to find out like what is the best way with which we can lead a life what is the best way to make a life less complicated and not make it so much uh, intervened or like uh, complicated uh, that uh, we feel like us uh, committing a suicide or questioning our existence so i'm really looking forward to read this book and i'll let you know how i find this book and i know i'm saying it again and again but yes i share my ideas the books that i read what i felt about them with you all guys so i'm going to share this one as well and I totally forget guys that I bought one more book and that was Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Now this is such a recommended book like if you make a list of books that were like that are most recommended then this book will be on the top 5 uh, like positions and I like what I know about this book is that this book actually challenges the beliefs uh, and the superstitions uh, and the thinking process of the people that uh, uh, to become rich you have to own high income or like your house is your asset and or maybe like your parents uh, uh, like solely cannot depend on the social uh, environment for their children to learn the value of money and things like that so I think it's going to be a good read if any one of you has read the book then do let me know in the comment section if I should go for this book 
first that's it guys so these are the books that i bought from daily book fair i hope you guys like this video and in case you do then don't forget to hit subscribe like and share my videos with your bookish friends if you wish to connect with me on my social media then you know you can find all the links in the description box down below